a viewpoint from Howard's Rock. It's a ridge line. This is looking down. And there's a, there's a line I can't want to cross. 300. I'm not uh, one to typically give advice on things I don't know anything about, but once I've learned something, I kind of want to share it. So I learned a lot about bear cables, okay? Uh, the first couple of times I was out and I found them, I wasn't quite sure how to use them. Uh, this thing right here, that's a handle. I didn't know what that was for. This thing right here, that's to keep the rodents from climbing up or down to reach your food bag, okay? Because they will climb across the wire and climb down. But when they hit this, they can't. Same going the other way. Um, I thought this and this kind of worked in tandem somehow. So I really didn't know what the hell I was doing. But a, a nice young man named Roscoe helped me out one day. and He was an alpha hiker and he loved to show everybody everything. So I listened to Roscoe. He had a lot of info for me. And God bless Roscoe's, the Roscoe's of the trailer. They save us. At any rate, to hang your bag, you simply pull on this. There's my blue bag. That's somebody else's yellow bag. I've seen as many as 10 bags on these things. Each bag weighs typically eight to 10 pounds, so you're looking at 80 to 100 pounds worth. Well, once you get it hoisted up, you've got to hook it to the tree over here, okay? The tree. Ah. Has a hook. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Okay, you got to latch onto that. That's not easy sometimes. Sometimes that's pretty tough. But and with only one or two bags, not difficult. Eight or ten bags, pain in the ass. This morning, I got up. I went to my get my bag off the bear cable, and there were ten bags on there, and my cable was tangled with another cable. It took two of us 20 minutes to untangle the mess to get the bear bags down, to get everybody's food bag down. Because I was the first one out of camp, I actually had to disturb somebody who was just rising to get there. Quick update. I left Hot Springs three days ago. I hiked nine miles, 11 miles, and 14 miles. I stayed at a little shelter about three miles north of here last night and I'm at a roadside right now waiting on a shuttle driver. Shuttle driver will take me into Irwin where I made a reservation for two nights in a hotel to let my leg rest. The cellulitis on my right leg has not really given me uh, any hope of continuing unless I can clear it up. Uh, cellulitis is a skin problem and it's very painful, especially on the downhill. There's a lot of swelling around my ankle and going up my shin and two trips to a medical clinic and the antibiotics taken and the three days I sat in hot springs waiting for it to clear up did not do the trick. So I've got to give it a couple of more days. There's really no way around it. Last thing I want is a flesh eating disease to end my through hike um, or, you know, come back home with, you know, just one leg. So long story short, I'm going to take a break in Irwin, Tennessee uh, and hopefully get past this problem it never seems to quit so it's one of the things you learn to accept and it's part of the suck that you must embrace if you're going to complete this thing um, I uh, I've, I've been pretty good about it I mean it always gives me pause for concern my leg right now is more of an issue because I've been to a walk-in clinic twice I've had it x-rayed um, it's not a bone issue. It is cellulitis that can be serious if left untreated. Uh, I'm taking antibiotics, but the, that's, it's, you, you, I have to get off of it, period. No, no buts about it. I got to get off of it for a couple of more days. So we'll see how it goes, and uh, I'll check back in later. I'm at the Mountain Inn and Suites in Irwin, Tennessee. I'll be here for two nights just to give my leg a rest, and then I'll move on back down the trail and hike back to Irvin, okay? But what would a good place be uh, without the opportunity to see 
the laundry room. The first place I visited when I got here. I did my laundry before I even got checked into my room. Um, that's how bad it was. So there you go. One washer, one dryer. Cost you four fifty for a washer, dryer, and uh, one Tide pot. Hiker tip. You're likely to find yourself in a hotel room when you show up you're gonna have wet shoes because it probably rained all day the day before and it gave you pause to check into a hotel room well you're gonna have to dry your shoes out this is a great way of doing it most of these hotel rooms have still have heaters and air conditioners just like this put it on a low heat and run it like this for 20 minutes it'll dry those shoes right out just restocked at the Dollar General in Irwin Tennessee it's about a mile walk from my hotel I'm staying at the Mountain Inn and Suites here in Irwin, Tennessee. Uh, it's not the hotel I would pick for most hikers because it's just too far from town. This is really on the edge of town, a couple of miles out from most places that you're gonna wanna go to. The only resupply near here is this gas station, overpriced, understocked. Uh, there is a Mexican restaurant attached to it, uh, Poncho's Amigos, not bad, they serve uh, Corona and all kind of Mexican cuisine. I had lunch there yesterday. It was pretty good. Uh, the hotel's kind of quiet. Not a lot of hikers here. About $100 a night. Um, but the rooms are comfortable. Just got back from a quick resupply at the Dollar General. The Dollar General is exactly 1.1 miles from my hotel. I walked there and walked back. It's about a 20 minute walk. Um, this is all I had to buy. I just really had to kind of bring up to speed what the food I already had. So what I ended up with uh, is seven packets of oatmeal, uh, which is enough for three days, uh, two cashews, which are snacks, one dinner, I already have the other two, three lunches, which are the tuna creations, of course, uh, some cleft bars, some musketeer candy bars, and some, of course, some ibuprofen, vitamin I. Uh, this all came to about 20 bucks at, at the Dollar General. Uh, not Not bad for what I got. Uh, the, you know, resupply is always a, a mystery because you never know what's going to be available. But Dollar General and Walmart and places like that usually have all of these kinds of foods. And you can usually get it at a pretty low price. So for the fourth time in a month, I found myself at a walk-in clinic. My cellulitis hasn't completely cleared up. As it turns out, I need a couple of more days rest. I haven't spent this much time in Tennessee in my entire life. Lovely state. But uh, they want me to spend at least two more days uh, here in Irwin. And uh, they prescribed a second round of antibiotics. So with, uh, with any luck, uh, I think today's Tuesday. Uh, I'll spend all day Tuesday and all day Wednesday. Hopefully get back on the trail again on Thursday. I am solidly a week to a week and a half behind schedule from where I thought I would be right now. I should be somewhere close to mile 400 at this point, and it's just not happening. I'm basically still officially at mile 311, uh, but I, uh, I really need to take care of this. I can't find myself in the woods and then suddenly have red streaks running up my legs because of the infection. Uh, has turned to turn septic and, and they said that yeah you could lose your leg i always kind of wanted a metal leg i always thought that was cool but i wanted two metal legs i want to be like the bionic man i want to be able to run fast and jump high but not until after after i've finished the appalachian trail so i probably should start doing tours of my medical clinics right alongside my laundry facilities because uh, I seem to hit both of them just about as often.
There's a hidden gym over here. I'm not gonna believe it. Yes! A washer and a dryer. Five bucks. They supply the detergent. Doesn't matter. There are only four rules you need to remember. Make the plan, execute the plan, expect the plan to go off the rails, throw away the plan. Oh, sun chips. I love sun chips. This is a pleasant surprise. Somebody just showed up at the hostel and brought trail mail. This is all this stuff. Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. Bingo. We had heard the church down the street was serving food for hikers, which they do every Sunday, so we went down there. But we took a wrong turn, and the food wasn't at the church itself. It was at another location. But we immediately got um, drawn into the service itself, and Doughboy and Mr. X wound up singing in the choir. As you can see, there are eight people in the choir. There were five people in the congregation. The sign on the wall said last week's attendance was 11 and the week before was 7, so we think we set a record. They were nice people, super service, had a great time, very friendly, very glad we went. There you go. Thank you guys for everything. You do a good job, don't you? Absolutely. Uh -oh. Thank you uh -oh. so much. You're welcome. <laughs> this has been a, a highlight of the whole trip. <laughs> Especially the dessert table. <laughs> the best part. <laughs>